Okay, today uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the tones you are going to encounter uh, in limbs pieces that we play and then also in the sheet music that some of you are probably working on now. The first tone we'll talk about is the low tone. It's called a doom. For the doom, your hand is flat and in towards the center of the drum. And you don't want it to be a a flat stroke into the head, you want your head to naturally just rebound off of the, off of the head so that you get a nice uh, resonant sound. The next sound is tech. Tech is the high sound. It's out towards the very outer edge of the skin. The fingers are, are, are splayed and it's, it's also they are fairly rigid. And the third sound I'll talk about is on the left hand. It's called the ka and uh, traditionally, it's played with the ring finger, and the idea is that you're sort of just sweeping across the head and letting your hand fall, and when it strikes the drum, again, you're right at the edge of the skin. And it's a relaxed stroke, and again, not down and into the head, you just want it to bounce off. So now I'll put those three tones together and play a rhythm called the Maksum. So next is what's called a slap tone. And that's uh, another right hand tone. And again, the hand is closed, and you sort of make a cup shape, almost, with the hand. And I like to think that I'm trying to grab something just on the other side of the, of the skin. And it's not a forceful sound, or, or a stroke with a lot of velocity or, or weight behind it, necessarily, but you just want a nice closed sound. So now I'll play a mock zoom again, but this time I'll use the slap tone instead of the tech. Okay. One more right hand tone. Uh, I call it a flam. And it's sort of like a soft slap tone in that you take your thumb and just kind of tuck it under the rest of your fingers and then very and then just let your thumb strike the skin first followed by the rest of your fingers and it creates a flam kind of a sound I'll now I'll play a maximum again using the flam tone. Okay. So now we'll talk about one last left hand tone called the pop. And that is done by taking the right hand and putting it perpendicular onto the head while the left hand plays a ka. And they strike more or less simultaneously and this produces a very bright poppy sound.
All right, and now I'll play a mock zoom using the pop tone. Okay, now let's dig into Turkish split hand a little bit. Uh, first, we'll talk about splitting up the left hand. Uh, on the left hand, the fingers are numbered, the index is 1, and the ring is 3. And a very popular pattern that you hear a lot of are triplets, uh, played by using a tech, followed by a 1, followed by a 3. And very slowly, it would look and sound like this. and a little bit faster, like this. Another popular pattern using the one and the three are sixteenth notes played uh, tech, one, three, one. And very slowly, it sounds like this. and a bit faster like this. Okay. And the pinky is also sometimes used and that is numbered as four. And so, what else do we have? Oh, uh, another tone while I'm at it is uh, what's called a low tone and that can be the one and the three again, but it's down into the head, like so. And this time, it is playing into the skin, where you want a more of a dead sound. But the four is more like the tech, and it's kind of a rim shot sort of effect. It's the same idea, where it's swinging across the head, and that produces a very bright, high sound again. So I'll play uh, a warm-up I like to do in nine counts that shows all of these sounds. So that's uh, a pretty good introduction to splitting up the left hand. I'll talk for a second now about splitting up the right hand. On the right hand, we label the index finger as 5 and the ring finger as 7. And uh, they can work on their own. But are most often in use in conjunction with also split hand uh, happening on the left hand as well. So uh, what I'll show you now is just playing paradiddles using uh, split hand on both the right and left hand. And a little bit faster. Okay, now we'll talk about some more sort of um, specialty tones, maybe you'd call it, for the right hand. One of them uh, is notated with an N, and it's the nail tone, and all it is is you're literally flicking the head with the nail of your index finger, and then sometimes also the index and the ring. So what I'll show are triplets using nail one three. And you can also, you'll notice that my thumb is down on 
the skin, producing a dry tone. And you can also change the timbre a little bit by moving your thumb around. Now you can also do the same thing with 16th notes. So now it's going to be ring, index, one, three. Oh, that is not true. <laughs> it's middle, index, one, three. A little bit faster. And, um, okay, moving on. So you'll also encounter an upside down triangle and uh, a right side up triangle. And what that is indicating is again for the right hand, the pointing down triangle is a thumb into the head and the triangle pointing the other direction indicates these three fingers into the head. And you're sort of just rotating around the index finger. And this usually happens in conjunction with playing triplets. So it would be something like this. So you hear when the thumb is in the head, you get a higher sound from the triplet. And when this is into the head, it's a lower sound. So it creates a nice contrast. A little bit faster, it sounds like this. And then one more tone uh, is indicated by a box. And again, the thumb is pressed into the head and the remaining fingers just play down and into the head. And again, this is usually used with triplets or either 16th notes. So with triplets, it would sound like this. So again, we're going for that really dry sound. And the last tone that I will talk about is the scratch tone. Uh, this is borrowed from frame drum technique, but I really enjoy the way it sounds on Doombeck. And it literally is just scratching the skin of the drum. And that's all there is to it. Uh, so I'll play Maksum again, and I'll do a little fill at the end that uses the scratch tone. <laughs> 